All right, so now it's the next morning. Now, it did snow a little bit more last night after I filmed, and so I did send it out again to clean up, and it does a really good job of cleaning it up like on a second pass for sure, or if it's um, a less snow. So, you know, it was only probably like an inch or less of snow that um, came down, and not only did it clean that up, but it also smoothed out all the rest of the snow or any places that it had missed when there's five plus inches. So you can see it does a much better job. Now, I also um, did set it up so that it did every, um, or had 12 inches of overlap, which is probably better for me to do. So that also helped it uh, clean up some more here, but we can look here. All this stuff here is where it does not go on the path. You can see where its path uh, stops. But so that's how much snow was uh, down before and it's starting to melt now because the sun's coming up it's it's kind of late morning and you can see where it has a clearing it's already going to melt and it's going to get cleaned up very quickly uh, tonight now i do have the shoes on the snow blowers otherwise it actually does scrape down uh, closer to the ground but i put the shoes on it because i have some places where the concrete you know has a lip on it or the cobblestones here where it's at has uh, bumps on it and so i find if i don't have the shoes it can catch more and then it doesn't it'll, it might get stuck temporarily but it does do a thing where it backs up lifts up the snow blower and then goes forward and lowers it back down so it has ways to get unstuck but it makes it slow down so i put the shoes on there uh, to give myself a little bit of leeway but you can see here um you know it does uh, do a great job it's already starting to to melt uh, completely away in the sunlight today and you can see down here at the end, again, this is where, you know, its path that I defined uh, stops. And uh, that's how much snow, you know, like I said, it was about, about an inch or so last night. And then it's, it's all starting to melt away now here today. So overall, it does work. You know, it has some nuances, like I said before. It's a little bit of a, um, you know, emerging technology. So there are some, some hiccups there. But if you can get past those and if you're not too worried about uh, is it doing the most efficient uh, pathway or whatnot, then it actually does work and it's pretty cool. But it does do a lot better in non-wet snow. And if you keep it running after every two or three inches versus waiting uh, for the storm to end. So those are my big takeaways for it. If you do that, then it's actually a, a pretty cool uh, machine.